800 volts, 1.6 million watts, 2,000 pounds, and the only electric dragster to eclipse 200 miles an hour. This is the machine of Steve Huff, and it is faster than cancer. 200. And the most amazing stat of them all is 11%. That was the chance that doctors gave Steve Huff to survive after he was diagnosed with cancer. But I said, hey, Steve, don't worry about it. You've been beating the odds your entire career. And what an opportunity for Steve here in the NHRA. Yes, an opportunity in front of this jam-packed crowd here at the NHRA National Event, Wild Horse Pass, Chandler, Arizona, and Steve Huck is determined to try to put a 200 mile an hour run on the board in front of this big crowd. He's only got one more chance. Let's see if he can do it. Big, big crowd here. Big crowd for the electric dragster. The batteries need to be hot and warmed up at once the heat of the day, and Steve Huff has done his burnout and is ready to go. Can he break 200? Off and running is Steve Huff. At track 156, finish line. No, what a pass! What a pass in front of the big crowd! Steve up, you're a bad man, 196. 196. Well, let me be the first to say congratulations. 196 and change, so close. The crowd loved it. Steve, let me ask you this though. We're talking about your health and how you had an 11% chance of survival. It's amazing what you're doing. Please bring me up to speed on the prognosis. Uh, still kind of the same. But I'm doing better than Albert, so you know, doctors aren't going to give you. A, you know, there's no guarantees in life. You know, maybe something might happen tomorrow, but get hit by a bus. But uh, as far as the cancer goes, uh, I have pinned them down to say I'm doing better than Albert. Sure. So, I told you a long time ago, yeah, you're not average. You've been beating odds. Uh, you know, I still got my port. Uh, I still got my port in. I go in every three weeks for an immunotherapy session. Uh, my doctors at Seattle Cancer Care Alliance, uh, University of Washington, and the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, they're just amazing. And, you know, they bust their butts to make sure I have a good quality of life. I'm, I'm not gonna go out and sit on the couch and let it waste away. We're gonna come out here and do what we love to do. Well, God bless you. We're gonna keep praying for you. And what an opportunity, what a thrill. What was it like out there in front of the big crowd? And uh, also the Faster Than Cancer Foundation, the website's going up now uh, you know you're gonna see it on all of our race vehicles this year uh, we'll be promoting the faster than cancer foundation uh, you know we're gonna keep working with the young people and making sure education is number one priority and what's next for us uh, Jack we leave here and we head on out to Florida to Gainesville to the Gator Nationals uh, the man himself uh, Don Garlitz uh, another NHL event we've got a lot of big things planned uh, Ford's gonna bring that car out uh, Don's gonna bring his out I don't know that he's gonna run it uh, of course we're gonna help this one out the faster than cancer Car and uh, uh, we're just gonna have another great time, man. So, as much of a thrill as this must have been in front of this crowd, Gainesville is going to be maybe the biggest crowd of the year. And oh, yeah, the goat Don Garlet's going to be there. What's that going to mean? You're certainly not sitting on the couch eating potato chips. You're out, you're out, uh, let this be a motivation to everybody out there. We're going to be, uh, we'll be in Gainesville racing. Uh, it's a lot of work, you know, going across the country and keep uh, it's a lot of work. Uh, the pet boys are uh, helping us for our exhibition fees, uh, uh, so we have to thank the Epic Cup boys, and uh, you know, we have just got so much great support from AEM and Holly and Simpson, and, uh, Worldwide Bearings and Dave, and, uh, you know, Yancey Fabrication, I just, I, it, there's so many people, and Larry Carroll, of course, but uh, yeah, so we're going to do that, once I get done with that, I got to hightail it back to Washington, get my hydroplane, uh, We've got a big story coming up about our Super Hooligan team, which uh, isn't fun to talk about. Story. I love I'll it. Wait till you see our new, the new custom bike. Uh, so we're really gonna bike this All right, guys. Well, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, you keep fighting the good fight. Okay. Thank you, everybody. I love you. Track and uh, thanks for all the support. And a uh, big shout out to Valerie Thompson and, and Ray uh, for letting me stay at their place and, and, and helping us out and helping the team out this year. We got their golf cart and borrowed one of the generators. And uh, uh, thank you, Valerie. He is Steve Hoff. He is faster than cancer. And we'll see all of you in Gainesville. This team is on the cutting edge of technology. They never stop working to get better, to push the envelope, 
Let us know your thoughts on electric drag racing down below in the comments. And let's flash back to the first time Steve Huff was able to run 200 miles an hour. That amazing feat came late at night at an empty racetrack in Tucson, Arizona. Now for Huff, the goal is to do it in front of the big NHRA crowd. What's your name? Charles and Bob. And your name? Well, you said them both. Oh, you got two for one. I love it. Do you, do you love Steve Huff's electric dragster? Yeah, it was great. It was oh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. What this means is the quest for NHRA's first 200 mile an hour pass on batteries moves to an even larger crowd, perhaps the biggest crowd of the year, at the NHRA Gator Nationals. Well, when you are faster than cancer and the world's quickest and fastest electric dragster racer, Steve, I guess life is pretty good here, huh? Ah, uh, how about it? Pep boys all the way. That's the best time of my life. Woo!